RetroArch has one big advantage over standalone emulators. It has a huge library of shaders that can be applied to enhance graphics. In this video, I will show you how to upscale PS1 games properly, and then I will briefly explain how to use shaders, like the one here with Spyro. This is how Spyro looks like at default settings. It's not a very pleasant sight. In case you're wondering, I'm using the Swan Station Core to run my PS1 games. It's a fork of the popular Duck Station emulator. Press F1 to go into Setup. From there, select Quick Menu. I'm using a controller to navigate, but a keyboard works just as well. Anyway, select Core Options and go into the Enhancement Settings. Make sure that your renderer is Vulkan and then scroll down to the Internal Resolution Scale. I'm comfortable with 4 times standard resolution, but you can go higher if your PC can handle it. Anti-aliasing removes the jaggies and activating it can make custom shaders look even better. I'll leave it 2x, but there's no limit here. Pick whatever you want. True color rendering, scale dithering, and chroma smoothing should all be activated as well. Trust me, these settings help a ton. Texture filtering is another important setting. Choose the same one I selected in the menu. The textures will look much better now. Skip the widescreen hack and go down to the PGXB geometry correction. Once it's activated, also activate the settings below it. Just follow my example. To go back to the game, simply press F1 again. Spyro will now look a lot better, although the shader still needs to be applied. Press F1 once more and press the back button repeatedly until you reach the quick menu again. On keyboard, it's the backspace key, and on controller, it's the B button. Now we'll go back inside the menu and head down to shaders. Applying shaders is easy. My favorite is the cell shader, and I'll show you how to apply it here. On my system, I have to select the slang folder. From there, I go down to cell. After applying the shader, I press F1 again to return to the game. And like magic, Spyro looks a million times better. Of course, you don't have to choose the cell shader if you don't want to. There are over a hundred options available, so feel free to experiment if you want. Anyway, all that's left is to save the shader. If we don't, we'll have to repeat the process every time we start a new game. Select the Save Core Preset option. This will ensure that only PS1 games running on Swan Station will use this shader. Here are a few more examples of what cell shading can do for PS1 games. Hope you like it. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please consider giving a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.